The things that we need to talk about, we don't talk about. So many children want to know about sex. So many churches don't want to even bring that topic up, especially Christians talking about sex. They don't want to talk about it, but the kids going to learn it one way or the other. Because what you ain't teaching in your church and in your own home, the streets are teaching. You got sex going on in the middle schools, the movie theaters. Sex is, is just a happening thing, and, and I always have been. And we, you look at the porn industry right now. The porn industry is up to 14, 14 billion in making money. That's a lot of money. So can you imagine how many people look at porn? Do Christians look at porn? Yes. And I'm sick of people lying about this. I know pastors that look at porn. I know a lot of church folks that look at porn call themselves Christians. And we don't. We got the nerve that don't even want to teach the children the right way. And I got to say this. Sex is a wonderful thing. It is a beautiful thing designed by God, by marriage. Yes, God desires sex. So I'm tired of people making it look so bad like it's because we never tell the good. And yes, it's a good thing by being married when a woman and a man come together. Because the Bible also teaches us to be, be fruitful. And when it comes to talking about sex in these churches, we don't want to hear about it. We don't even want to talk about it. Oh, now you can't talk about sex in my church. Once again, this ain't your church. And when you look on this computer, you see what people, what is drawing people's attention. It is sex. Sex is a happening thing. But it's a good thing also. Yes. And we don't want to teach the children. And half of the teenagers in a lot of these churches are already pregnant before they turn 18. And we don't want to talk about it because we too holy to die. And I'm going to do this video right now. Sex is designed by God. And it's a beautiful thing. Just like a lot of, a lot of other stuff. But we are the people that abuse it. Yeah. And my boy Jay wanted me to do this video because people be talking about Kareem Stevens and they got the nickname Superhead. And it's not just Kareem, but it's so many others. Even that the, the thing that's going on with Lawrence Fishburne and his daughter, Montana, she want to be a porn star. When, especially when you grow up when you didn't have a father and you're looking for love. And see, when I looked at her story, Kareem Stevens' story, oh, it, it, was, it was touching to me. Because I looked at the, I looked at how she growed up. See, if we could just learn to quit being judgmental. Do you know how many superheads are around her in this world? The only difference between her and a lot of people in the world is that she went public with hers and she got known with it. But do you know how many people doing all these strange acts and, and, and having sex and, and, and giving head and all this other stuff, whatever you want to call it? It's a lot of that going on. It ain't just her. And, and, and I'm tired of people not wanting to talk about this and sex because when you look at the teenagers nowadays, they are looking for help. They are crying out and they, they want to talk about these things. But some, some of these teenagers won't even talk to their parents because they know their parents don't want to hear it. And they, a lot of these parents are holding and die. Yeah. And you wonder why when you keep a, a woman locked up for so long that when she gets out, she runs wild. Same with a man. And I'm so tired of the men down to the women like they hoes. Keep it real on both sides. You're talking bad about Kareem Stevens, but what about Mr. Marcus, who been doing porn for I don't know how long? Anybody ever seen the tapes? I know I, I'm, I'm guilty. Oh, yeah, I used to look at that. Yeah. I used to look at it, and it wasn't even that long ago when I was looking at that stuff. Because I wanted to see what, what everybody was talking about. And when I looked at that video on her and Mr. Marcus, I, I couldn't believe. I just couldn't believe that you got people that just want to prove a point to the world. Yeah. Instead of trying to prove a point to God. Christians got the nerve to say they don't look at porn. They lying and the truth ain't in them. There ain't a woman or a man alive I know that don't, they don't, don't like sex. I know I love sex, but it's designed the right way by God. I don't want to be out here sleeping around with any and everybody. And to the young children, I just wish y'all could wait till you get older. But this generation now, it's, it's told up bad because sex is all over. You can't even get on the internet without looking at stuff. You got all of these porn websites out. And I got to say this again. The porn industry is over four, fourteen billion in money and sales. Come on, y'all. So that lets you know, you think this is just the world looking at porn? No. Especially to the single people. And single Christians so sure don't like talking about this stuff. I am a single man. And I am a Christian man. And I, I, I will be a lying fool if I sit here and tell you I don't think about sex. I don't have sexual thoughts in my mind. I don't think about masturbating. Oh, I'd be lying and the truth ain't in me because I am in my fleshly body. And when you are alone, I don't care who you are. And then you got people going after the strange flesh. 
Like the Bible called it, strange flesh. You got men want men now, and women want women. So we don't want to stand up here and talk about this in our church when we allow it to go on in our church. We allow the homosexuality to go on in the church. We want to talk about everything else but sex. And I'm not here to talk about homosexuality. God bless everybody. He loves the sinner but not the sin. But we're taking everything out of our church. We done already took prayer out of school. We're already trying to take God out of everything. So our kids got to go learn it somewhere else. They're going to see it in the streets. Because once they leave your house, they are going to see it. I know when I was even high, in high school, we had people sleeping in, we had people having sex in the high school in the restrooms. You see people having sex in the movie theaters. People don't care. Because once you, once you get, get to a certain age, you're going to want to know about sex, but don't nobody want to teach it the right way. Sex is a good thing. It ain't always bad. I like to call it making love. When a husband and a wife come together to make love, you in the name of the Lord and the holy matrimony, you done got married, you are doing things God say it is good. Yeah, he made everything good. When he made it, he said it was good. When he made man, he said it was good. Adam didn't have to sin. Adam chose to sin, just like we do. It wasn't so bad that Eve was a woman. You know, women are good. Men are good. It's us that make everything look bad. Sex is not bad. Sex is, de is designed by God. And I'm so sick of people just blocking it out of church. Church folks, y'all need to get for real, man. And then you get mad when they're looking at these videos and they want to they wanna have sex at an early age and you don't want to teach them in your own house because you remember how bad you was at their age. Oh, yeah. How many mamas kick their daughters to the curb after their daughter get pregnant at an early age? When the mama got pregnant early also. How you going to beat your child down behind something you did also? Bible say train up a child in the way they should go. And when they get old, they will not depart from it. But we ain't training up people, right? Because half of us ain't right ourselves. We taking sex out of the, We can't talk about sex in church. Do you know how many youths are in the church? Yeah. You can get on the internet right now and ain't even got to register for nothing. And can type in porn. Little kids, grown kids, grown ups, it don't even matter what your age is. You can get on a computer and click on stuff. Like you can't even click on some websites without porn popping up in your face. And some little child might say, Mama, what is this? Oh, no, we can't, you, you can't, we don't know nothing about that. Now they're going to learn one way or the other. Oh, what they used to call it back in the day, let's have a little talk about the birds and the bees. People don't care about talking about sex no more. So the kids going to learn it on their own. And when they learn it, they're getting pregnant. And then we want to teach them the wrong way. Well, let's go have an abortion. Oh, yeah. You got to give that child up. Yeah. There's too many kids being thrown away. Too many children being killed. Let me just say it like that. And we got the nerve to keep sleeping around here with everybody. And, and not even training up the child in the way they should go. Yeah, that's why I got to say this again. People talk bad about Kareem Stevens. I don't call her Superhead. That's just her nickname. And, and when you read her book and read her story, that ain't even how, that, that was a joke, how she even got her name. That's just something that got blown all out of proportion. But when you look at the, the, uh, the, 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 the what's the thing called, uh, the video on her when she was on cable, she said one thing. She said, I gave the world what they wanted. And how many people trying to keep giving the world what they wanted? I just tell like this, God bless her. Because Kareem Stevens is a beautiful woman to me. Just my opinion. I don't look at her as no hoe. I don't look at nobody. I don't look down on nobody. She's a woman to me. You know. Because we are all God's children. I, I said Mr. Marcus. But I don't look at Mr. Marcus as a hoe. I call him a man. Because it's too many people putting labels on other people when they worse themselves. It's a million Mr. Marcus is walking around her. Thing is he done went public. He, a lot of people ain't on TV with it. Yeah. So if we're going to be for real, let's talk about sex and talk about the goodness of sex when it was designed by God. It's marriage. Anything premarital sex, I don't care what nobody say. All that stuff is unpleasing to God. Because God tells you, especially when you're by yourself also, how to keep your body pure and holy. Don't be going out doing all this stuff. And we got so many people with AIDS right now. You got people walking around here giving people AIDS on purpose, knowing they got it. They're still sleeping around just to get at somebody else because they mad. They came out here in Dallas and tested and tested some places in Dallas, and 80, 90 percent of it was was terrible. People walking around with AIDS and didn't even know it. And we got you got to be careful when you're sleeping. That's why I want to say this to the young people: be careful when you're sleeping around. If you go sleep around, use protection because you can't stop children from having sex. You can't even stop grown folks from having sex. There is no stopping sex. Yeah, so just get for real with your children and churches, come on, start speaking on sex. 
Sometimes don't even have a Bible study night. Have a night with the kids and the grown-ups and, and talk about sex. Oh, it ain't, it ain't that bad. Come on, people. Quit acting so holy and down. Talk about sex in this church. Because the average teenager is sitting in there pregnant already and wishing they had somebody even just talk to them. Because children are going to do what they're going to do anyway. Just like grown folks are going to do what they want to do. It's, I believe it's even more grown people sleeping around, fornicating than the children. Yeah, and you don't never turn your, that's the only thing I hated about my man Lawrence Fishburne when I was reading it. Say he kind of turned his back on his daughter. But his daughter, I think was 19 years old, Montana, whatever age, she is 20 or 19 years old. You don't turn your back on people. But I don't know the whole story either, so I pray for Lawrence Fishburne and his family. God bless you, Lawrence Fishburne. You're one of my favorite actors. But if you did, I just say don't turn your don't turn your back on your daughter because you can do all you can to bring your child up. You can have them in church, you can teach them right from wrong. But once they get at that age, oh yeah, when they hit 18, it ain't nothing you can do. You can get mad all you want, but what is getting mad gonna do? And to these parents that's mad at their children for having sex, what is being mad ever done for anybody? Because the real talk, if we go back into all our lives, I know when I was 16 years old, 17 years old, I was ready for sex. I was curious. But one thing my mama told me, she said, I'm not going to try to stop y'all. She said, get some condoms, here's some condoms. And, and if you get one of these women pregnant, take care of your responsibility. That was the best advice my mama ever could say. Yeah. And, and I, that still stick with me to now. Yeah, I always told my mama, I don't want no baby mama drama. I don't want no child out here without their father. I don't want to have babies everywhere. Now, that's not the way God told me to be. See, I started growing up early. Oh, yeah. I started growing up at an early age and started really understanding what God was all about because I fear God. So when you don't want to talk about sex in these churches, the children are going to learn it somewhere anyway. When they go to elementary now, it's sex in elementary, sixth grade, fifth grade. Your hormones are jumping. You're getting older. You, you're getting past puberty, and you start feeling yourself like Big Mama. You say you're smelling yourself. You're getting too big for your britches. I can't tell you nothing else to do. You're going to have to learn on your own. That's why when you make your mistake, you got to let people make their mistake and learn from it. Old saying, you made your bed, lie in it. So there is nothing you can do when, you, when you're trying to lock your kids up. That's why people are always talking about preacher kids are the worst kids. Because preachers like to hold their kids in the house. They, they don't get to experience nothing. But it ain't just the preacher's kids. That's terrible. We all terrible. So sex is a good thing. It is designed by God, people. And, and to the people that don't even agree with this, I feel sorry for you. Because that's why Adam and Eve, that's where it started at. You know, and people going to disagree with that. But God said marriage. That's the only way it's pleasing in his eyes. Because when you read about the one flesh, oh yeah, we're going to do a video about that one flesh. When you become one flesh, yeah. Look at how God looks at that. And I know somebody know what I'm talking about, about the one flesh, one flesh. Because you are releasing off of the side of you into somebody else. And you become one. I look at it like this. Oh, everybody I ever slept with. And God, in the eyes of God, it's almost like I was married to him. That's why God hates when we fornicate up on the marriage. So this is... Good thing talking about sex. People, teach the children. Churches, come on, stop being hypocritical and stop being judgmental. Start teaching these kids about sex. God bless you.